We went on Celebrity's newest cruise ship, Celebrity Beyond, and I have to admit, even if you've cruised with Celebrity before, this Edge Class cruise ship just might not be for you. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We just got off the Celebrity Beyond this morning, and while a review of the entire ship, our experience is coming, I did want to answer this one question as soon as possible as it is fresh in my mind. Now, many people have asked me, do you think that the Celebrity Beyond and the Edge Class cruise ships are for me? What is the demographic like? If I've cruised with Celebrity before, am I the demographic that Celebrity is looking for? And even gearing this cruise ship experience to. Now the Edge Class cruise ships are definitely very hip, very modern, although also very beautiful. And there are perhaps some points to this. However, it isn't black and white. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the demographics that we saw on our cruise ship. It definitely could surprise you. I'll also share with you my thoughts on the style of this ship, the design of the ship, the dining, the cabins, and one potential element that I do think for a certain demographic of people that maybe this ship is not the best for, but I will explain why. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Okay, so first let's talk about the demographics on this cruise ship. Now, we actually saw that there are a fair amount of people that were in their mid 20s to mid 30s, much more than we've seen on past celebrity cruises. And this was something that a lot of people that were on our cruise did say. That being said, there were also a lot of people that were in their 50s through 70s, and that was probably the majority of the cruise demographic. However, celebrities, modern cruise ship, beautiful design, and reputation seem to be attracting a younger demographic. This was definitely something that was very obvious in many different elements of this cruise. Now, I should say that the demographic on this cruise ship is also very diverse. While there were not a lot of families, and I don't think that this cruise ship is really very well geared towards families, there definitely was a very diverse type of cruiser on this cruise ship, and I do think that everybody could feel comfortable. Now, the cruise ship itself is not a typical traditional design. Now, you have seen the Edge Class cruise ships with the magic carpet along the side, but inside the cruise ship as well, there are many different elements that feel very modern, also elegant and upscale, but definitely a little bit avant-garde and even a little bit artsy. Now, a little bit later on in this video, I will share a couple of areas that were definitely unconventional on this cruise ship that I can see how some people may not like these areas while other people will love them. Now, when it comes to the main dining room experience, this is a little bit different on the Edge class ships and Celebrity does combine some aspects of traditional main dining room that experience along with some new features. And in particular on the Celebrity Beyond, I think that this is a new change for Celebrity, but something that they did not have was traditional dining time. So in other words, you didn't have early and late set dining times anymore. You were basically able to show up at the dining room at the time that you wanted to. Now they have four main dining rooms. So they have Tuscan, they have Cosmopolitan, they have Normandy, and they have Cyprus. And all of them have the same, I guess, main menu every night, all of the dining rooms, but they also have their own dining room features. So their own special menus at each restaurant. So that is something quite nice. Now, something that we were told that you no longer have to do, at least on this cruise ship, was make reservations in any of the different dining rooms. So you could just show up at the time that you preferred. So whether that was 5.30, 6.30, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and you would be seated, I guess, at the earliest time available. Now we ate in one of the dining rooms five out of seven nights, and there was only one time that we needed to wait about 10 minutes. We just had time to go get a martini and come back when our buzzer rang, but otherwise we were able to get a table for four every single time, well, right away. Now, personally, we really enjoyed this experience. And when we did speak to other people on the cruise ship of every age, by the way, a lot of other people seem to as well. But if you are somebody who really loves that traditional dining experience and that set dining at six o'clock or at 8.30 p.m., this might be something that is a little bit too different 
on this cruise ship. Now, something else that did feel different and maybe did feel younger in some ways were the different activities on the cruise ship. Now, believe me, you had a wide variety of activities, but you did also have poolside activities that felt more youthful, more vibrant. Now, for example, we had fun aquafit. I have never seen aqua fitness done in this way. It was so high energy and honestly, it looked so fun that I felt compelled to jump into the water and join this. But not only were people in the water of all ages, by the way, doing the aqua fit, enjoying it, but you even had people all around the cruise ship, even on the decks above and on the side of the pool, and they were joining in as well. But on past celebrity cruises, I really haven't seen this high energy before. Now, along with those higher energy activities, you did have other activities. So you had yoga at the rooftop garden area. That was really, really nice. I guess it was yoga stretching, really, really nice. Uh, you also had a little kind of game of mini putt or golf putt in the Grand Plaza one day. And of course you had the variety of trivia games as well. Now, so far, all of the different things that I've mentioned are probably pretty superficial. I have one more that is like that, but then I have something that is actually quite serious. And I do think for some people, this is definitely a reason not to book this cruise ship, but first the music. So we need to talk about this. The music on this cruise ship was probably the most different from other celebrity cruises and even other cruises that we've been on recently in terms that it felt the most current. So while we were at the pool, not all the time, but some of the time, the music that was played was really very current. It sounded like what would be on the radio right now. Now, at the same time, there really was a wide variety of music. You still had the acoustic music that you're probably used to at the Sunset Bar. We absolutely love that. You had live bands in the Grand Plaza, so in that martini, bar area. And by the way, for people who worry that all of the live music is going away on cruise ships, we didn't find this to be the case at all on the Celebrity Beyond. There was a lot of live music. Now this is not an official review, so I will talk a little bit more in detail about some of the different aspects, including the entertainment in a future review video. The live bands were excellent on this cruise ship. Okay, so this point is actually pretty important. It has to do with the multi-levels in many different areas of this cruise ship and the fact that in some ways this is not the easiest cruise ship to navigate. So I'm gonna start off with one thing and that is the fact that there are only two elevator and stairway sections rather than three that you usually would have on most cruise ships. So in this case, we saw that there was a staircase and an elevator area that was sort of, I guess, mid aft and another one that was forward. But that meant that if you did have your cabin that was really aft in the cruise ship, that it was quite a far way to walk. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it really is just something to be aware of. Just be very careful when you do pick your cabin. If you usually like sort of a mid aft section, that is going to be farther away from the staircase and the elevators maybe than you might like. So I would definitely try to take a look at where your cabin is located in relation to those elevator areas and those staircase areas because it can be a far distance to your cabin. Now, many of the areas on Celebrity Beyond have a lot of levels and it makes it really aesthetically very beautiful, but in some ways also a little bit difficult to navigate or I would think maybe even difficult in terms of accessibility, at least ease of accessibility. So for example, the Grand Plaza, there are many stairs to go down and up and there are definitely different ways that you can get there there's a ramp you could of course go down the hallway and you can take an elevator but there is no elevator that is really close by to the grand plaza so for instance if you wanted to go from cafe al Bacio to the martini bar there are really just a lot of stairs to go down and if you did want to go by elevator you do have to walk down the hall to get there now another area where this is very apparent is the resort pool area. So you have this gorgeous, beautiful pool, but when you do want to go to the hot tubs, well, this is not exactly traditional as there are no hot tubs that are right next to the pool. What you have instead are these gorgeous champagne glass style hot tubs, but they're actually about two decks above. Now, something else that we noticed, and to be honest, we really liked at the very beginning 
of the cruise but as we were on the cruise and we took a look at this we were a little bit unsure of it and what it is is you have the jogging and the walking track that there is a portion of it that is on an incline now it really is very nice and i guess in terms of health and wellness and fitness this is a good idea it's a good idea to walk on an incline but i was really thinking about some of the people that that incline would make it difficult to walk around that jogging track so for instance my own parents i think they would have a difficult time going for a walk with that incline on that jogging track as it does go from one level to the other whereas they usually do enjoy walking in the morning times on a cruise i think this would be a little bit difficult for them now that being said for everything that i mentioned if these are not necessarily things that you actually do they probably won't even bother you if these are elements that you really appreciate on a traditional cruise ship like one of the solstice class or the millennium class cruise ships you may prefer to be on one of those cruise ships especially one that is is revolutionized the cabins now the cabins have definitely been one of the most controversial elements of the edge class cruise ships in particular the infinite verandas now personally we really liked our infinite veranda i would even say that we loved our infinite veranda however for those who prefer a more traditional balcony you don't have many choices on this cruise ship so that might be a reason that this cruise ship is not for you now by the way i will leave that video at the end of this one in case you do want to check it out where i do share pros and cons as well as some tips now if you're somebody who really likes that traditional cruise ship there are a few areas of the cruise ship that well may not appeal to you because they are a little bit unusual by the way i am going to share the other areas that are absolutely wonderful that i think that you'll enjoy but there are a couple of areas that are a little bit different i guess and even some people that we met on the cruise ship didn't really love these areas so those areas in particular are the odyssey sort of hallway this is an art installation that is really very different you have to walk through there to get to eden and then there is Eden. I think it's an absolutely beautiful space. You can eat breakfast there, you can eat lunch there, you can go to some of the different activities there, you can see shows there, but this is definitely a very different type of space, even with different types of entertainment that may not appeal to everyone. Now, if you've cruised with Celebrity before, there are some other areas that I think that you're absolutely going to love. So in particular, there is the Sunset Bar that on the Celebrity Beyond in particular is expanded. It is absolutely beautiful. You have these gorgeous seating areas. You have a beautiful Moroccan themed um, Sunset Bar. It is absolutely the most aesthetically pleasing area that I've seen on any cruise ship. You also have these beautiful splash pools I didn't think that I would really like them, but I absolutely love them. A couple times we came back um, from our port days and we spent a little bit of time in those shallow splash pools. It was really a nice way to end our day. Now, if you typically like the martini bars or the ice bars on some of the other celebrity cruise ships, I think that you're absolutely going to love this martini bar. Now, this is set in the Grand Plaza. So really it's a grander foyer if you want or a grander atrium just very beautiful it is modern but you do have an area to dance you do have an area where there's a live band you'll have the silent disco in this area and this is definitely now i guess it's the heart of the cruise ship there is definitely the most liveliness the most activity especially in the evening cafe el bacio now i love cafe el bacio if you love cafe el bacio too this area is just larger it is really comfortable everything is just as good as ever and bonus on the celebrity beyond you do have a second cafe el bacio in the ocean view cafe and the rooftop terrace now celebrity did a beautiful job with the rooftop terrace on the celebrity beyond this is a great place to watch a movie to catch a game to participate in one of the activities there are actually i don't know how many live plants but when you see it in person it is even more beautiful than anything that i can show you on video okay so what's the verdict and is this cruise ship for you well i think i can go two ways firstly if you really do prefer a more traditional cruise experience then perhaps you are better off cruising on one of celebrities older cruise ships especially the ones that are refurbished they have done such a beautiful job then why not stay with that however i don't think you should deprive yourself from these absolutely beautiful and by the way extremely comfortable cruise ships 
to sail on. And I think we're all more than just a number. It really is a very diverse age group. And I absolutely think you could fit in onto this cruise ship at absolutely any age. Now, please let me know what you think if you've cruised on the Beyond or on the Edge class cruise ships. Please let me know if you like this class of cruise ship and if you'd recommend it. If you've never done so before, please let me know your thoughts and your questions as well. I am going to be doing a review in the coming week of this cruise ship and our experience. And I'm gonna leave that video all about the infinite veranda cabins right after this. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.